This is a $23 million Beverly Hills mega mansion with impressive views of the city. It's got its very own yoga studio, movie theater, wine cellar, and so many other things. And today, we're gonna tour this property in its entirety. But before we do, make sure to subscribe because we're touring more homes just like this one every single week. Also, huge thank you to Jade Mills and her team for allowing us to do this tour. You can find her info down below in the description. And now let's get started. here today in bright and sunny Beverly Hills, California, about to tour this newly constructed contemporary home. You can see from the street level, the property is nicely gated and surrounded with foliage here. Let's head up this exterior staircase through the pedestrian gate. And if you follow me down this pathway here, this is where you have your gated vehicle entry, which further takes you to your covered carport. You can safely park two cars under this carport. And another really cool feature is that you actually have this secondary gate, which takes you into this additional parking section. You've also got this side yard, which takes you down to the backyard, which we will be seeing later. Now follow me down this stone pathway here on the right of the property. You've got your third gated vehicle entry, which takes you down below to your subterranean car showroom. And if we take a look up at the front, you've got more beautiful landscaping and you've got your wooden pivot door. And now let's go inside. So we've just made it through that wooden pivot door here to the entry. Right when you walk in, you've got extremely high ceilings, views directly out to Beverly Hills. You can see your backyard with the beautiful water feature. You also get views directly to your formal living room space and your bar. The room feels extremely inviting. As you come in, you've got your built-in fireplace with the stone details surrounding this area. And this room is also surrounded by floor to ceiling walls of glass. You can see that you've got beautiful views of your exterior foliage and you've got several methods of access to the outdoors. I love all of the contemporary furniture that they have staged in the area. Here on my right, we've got your bar section, which has seating for up to five of your guests here at this beautiful gray stone countertop. We've got the waterfall edge here, and if we take a look at the inner workings of the bar, you've got all of this natural toned custom wooden cabinetry. You've got your stainless steel sink over here, and what I really love about this bar is how you can actually interact with your guests who may be outdoors from this set of pocket sliding doors. So in case you wanna serve drinks to your guests who may be sitting outdoors, you can easily do that from the comfort of your own home, which I do really like. Beautiful views of your backyard once again and Beverly Hills. We'll see it a little bit later. Make sure to stick around. I'm gonna wrap around this section. We've got another staged seating section with more backyard access. And if you pan up for me, you can see that you have a very unique drop ceiling design. So the ceiling actually drops in three individual places. And at those drop ceilings, you've actually got the LED ambient lighting, which is glowing. It illuminates the room in such a unique way. And I just love how they engineered the ceiling. Not something you see every day. Now in front of me, we've got your formal dining room and office access, but before we see those spaces, I wanna take you just around the corner here. We've got your first powder room that we will be seeing on this main level. You've got this amazing stone detail, which is shown on the vanity, and it actually extends as your backsplash all the way up to the ceiling. The mirror here is nicely backlit with the LED light strips, built-in sink, and you've got some views of your exterior foliage, which I do really like. Now, if we take a turn back down to the entry, I wanna show you this feature really quick. So you actually have this hidden coat closet right when you enter the property. 
Not a feature you see every day, but that's really cool. And it's also soft closing. Now let's take a turn to my left. This is your private office area, which actually has outdoor access. You can slide back these doors and you can get that beautiful view of your foliage and you get all of this fresh air and natural light, which comes into the office here. It's an executively staged space. You've got the unique textured wallpaper, which once again surrounds the room. And over here, you've got your ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity and the glass enclosed walk-in shower space, which is tiled from the floor all the way up to the top of the ceiling. And one more thing I just wanted to mention, this is your top secret closet for this room. And if we continue our tour, let's wrap around the corner. Beautiful views of this first great room. Let's take a left-hand turn. This is your formal dining room, which has seating for up to eight of your guests. Light fixture is positioned above, and you can also see you've got some wall sconces on either side of this circular mirror here more high ceilings, and you've got the seamless access which leads you directly out to your backyard. And we've got this covered shaded patio section with more seating and a built-in fireplace. We'll see more of that backyard later. It's very, very special. Now, this door right here actually takes you into your butler's kitchen, and you can also access that kitchen from right here. You can see you've got custom cabinetry built in all throughout the space, stainless steel sink with the horizontal tile work going up to the ceiling here. Open these up and you can see they are all nicely soft closing. You've got your built-in wine refrigeration located at the end of the room. Store your wine at two different temperatures, nicely glass enclosed and wood paneled. You've got more glass paneled cabinetry around the section with the ambient lighting under your upper cabinets. And if we head outside of this space, this is your contemporary staircase. It's floating and it takes you up to the top level where we have all of the guest bedrooms and the primary bedroom suite. You've got this massive picture window which brings so much natural lights into the house. Chandelier above and of course you've also got the lower level staircase which takes you down. That's the entertainment floor and of course again we'll see it later. Over here, this is your elevator access. On my left, we've got the kitchen and some living spaces, but before we see that, follow me down here to my right. This is your open concept laundry room slash kind of working area, very unique space. I haven't seen something quite like this before. Of course, you've got space for up to two appliances with the vertical natural wooden details going up to the ceiling here. You've got a clear story window, which once again brings natural light into the space, built-in sink with the custom cabinetry. And another interesting detail, you've actually got a refrigeration space in here, which is once again, nicely wooden paneled. So it matches the rest of the cabinets inside of the space right here. You've got a little mini cabinet down here and you can open that up. You've got a little pull out tray. Pretty cool, have your cereal or other snacks inside of there. And you've got this glass panel door which takes you out to the exterior and that further goes back to your motor court. And if we come down here, I did mention this is a bit of a workspace. So you've got this designated desk right here surrounded by more custom cabinetry, which is soft closing. You've got the wooden panel details inside of there and the ambient lighting under your uppers, which is pretty cool. Now let's head outside of the section and in front of me, we've got your powder room. I really like the baseboard details that they have inside of the space and it's in a nice dark gray tone. You've got the built-in vanity right over here with the open shelving position below plus your mounted mirror. And if we head outside of the section and back down to my left-hand side, we've got direct access into your great room. We've got a dining area, living space, and a kitchen here on my right. Let's talk about the living space first. You've got the contemporary stage seating all throughout with your flat screen TV and your glass paneled fireplace right here high ceilings in the section. And if you pan up for me, you can see that we've got the natural wooden tones 
clad all above on the ceiling right here. It matches the flooring, and it just really makes the space feel warm and inviting. I do really like that a lot. In front of me, we've got your informal dining area, which can seat up to six guests. Another chandelier is positioned above, and you can see we've actually got this set of sliding accordion glass doors, which takes you out to the impressive backyard, and it also takes you to an exterior dining area. Once again, we'll see the backyard in its entirety just after this, so you should stick around. Now let's continue back down. This is your well-appointed kitchen. You can see that you've got breakfast bar seating for up to five of your guests here at this stone countertop. It's a waterfall edge here as well. You can see you've got more contemporary light fixtures hanging right above the space. Custom wooden paneled cabinetry is located all throughout this kitchen. And they're also wrapped here on your side-by-side -side fridge and freezer. Take a look, designed by Sub-Zero, of course. The contemporary interior actually matches all of this white cabinetry, which is really cool. You've got your walk-in pantry on my right with tons of storage. And over here, you've got your stainless steel Wolf Appliance Suite. And down below, that's where you've got your wooden paneled warming tray. Once again, designed by Wolf. And if we continue down, we've got your six burner stove top here. Once again, designed by Wolf. Double oven is positioned below. Hood is located right above, and you can see that they have actually paneled the exterior of the hood to match the rest of the white cabinetry that we see inside of this kitchen. I'm a huge fan of that detail. And you've got your sink here positioned on my left, and on either side of the sink, you've got your wooden paneled stainless steel dishwashers. Very cool. I like that feature a lot. Very simple kitchen, very minimalist. There's hardly any handles showing throughout this space. You've also got the LED light strips located under all of your upper cabinetry. You've got the gray tone countertop here with the matching backsplash. Tons of outlets are shown throughout this space too. You've got sink number two on my right and down below, built-in ice maker, which is also nicely wooden paneled. And right above your second sink, you can see that you actually have this set of sliding glass doors. So you slide these back and you get that direct indoor outdoor continuity to your backyard. So in case you have some guests out there you wanna talk to, you wanna give them some drinks from inside of here, you can absolutely do that. And I'm a huge fan of that, great for entertaining. And if we continue back down, you've got several methods of access to the backyard. And this actually concludes our tour for this main level. So now we gotta go outside and check out the backyard. We have just made it out here to the gorgeous backyard. Right when you come out of those accordion doors, you were actually led into this covered patio section, which has several seating areas. You've got the space heaters located directly above the space, also built-in speakers. We're playing some music right now. You might be able to hear it, and you can have that all throughout your backyard, which is pretty cool if you're entertaining out here. You've got gorgeous landscaping all across this backyard, and this is not faux grass. This is completely real grass, and you have this massive Massive patch which extends all the way out to your guest house and to your pool. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, we don't see real grass patches like this very often. Also, if you look up above me, we've got views of your upper level glass paneled balcony. Another seating section is located in front of me with the shaded awning, and this concrete pathway directly takes you out to the main event of the backyard. This is the pool right here, guys. Take a look at this. You've got this massive Baja shelf right when you enter your pool. You've got the massive waterfall, which is actually coming from the roof of your guest house. Take a look at that right now. We've never seen something quite like this before, and I am just a huge fan of that. Also here on my left, you've got the seating section with the fire pit complemented by these amazing views of Beverly Hills, all of the greenery, the foliage in the distance. Take a look at the house from this vantage point. I've never seen something this beautiful. Let's continue down the pathway. It might be hard to hear me, but we're right under your waterfall. This looks so gorgeous. Over here, you've got four staged pool chairs, and if we wrap around the guest house, 
We've got direct access into the space. You've got a very cozy, very comfortable living area here, looking out to your pool and the water feature. Another grass patch. And if we continue down, this area is also en suite. You've got the built-in floating vanity with the massive mirror and the glass enclosed walk-in shower section, which is also nicely tiled. If we continue down, you actually have this exterior staircase, which once again leads you down to your lower level. And if we head up this way, you've got your outdoor kitchen with the massive Wolf Barbecue. Take a look at the size of this. This is like twice the size of most regular barbecues we see at these homes. This is the real deal if you're entertaining. You've also got your built-in sink, nicely stainless steel, and you've got all of the wooden paneled exterior cabinetry here. Really nice, of course. And although we're outside, they're still soft closing, which I do really like. Over here next to me, we've got your built-in ice maker and refrigeration section is just conveniently placed right next to that with some more wood paneled exterior cabinetry. You've got this set of sliding doors, which leads to your kitchen, which we saw earlier. Really cool to entertain indoors and outdoors. And if we continue down, you've got your exterior seating section, which can sit up to eight people. Nice to have a meal right here overlooking Beverly Hills and the pool right there. What an amazing backyard. That concludes our tour for this outdoor space. So now we gotta head downstairs and check out the entertainment level. Coming down your wood contemporary staircase, we've just made it down to your lower entertainment level and we have so much to see in this space. First things first, you've got this living area, bar, plus the wine cellar and the movie theater, and just so many other spaces. But before we see this wing of the lower level, I wanna take you down this way. This is your game room. You've got the staged poker table with the pool table just positioned right next to that. You've got the ceiling detail up above as well. I like how they executed this area. You've also got this exterior access, which takes you up that staircase, which further leads you up to the backyard, which we did just see. And if we continue down, this is one of my most favorite spaces in this lower level. So you've actually got these interior sliding glass doors, and this leads you directly into your yoga room. It can also double as a massage room. You can see we've got the table just staged right here. Ceiling fan is positioned above with the interior foliage, mounted mirrors on the far side. It's so cool when properties include these types of amenities. To be honest, you don't have to leave this house very much at all. You've got everything that you need just down here at this lower level. Now, if we continue down, the wellness center continues. Right when you walk in, you've got a steam shower and a sauna in front of me. You've also got a powder room, which is surrounded with this gorgeous textured tile work throughout with the built-in floating vanity. And next to me, you've got your stainless steel sink with that refrigeration down below. So in case you get hot in the sauna, just have some water bottles on hand right there and you'll be good. You don't have to go all the way upstairs. Now here on my left, let's open this up. This is your glass enclosed steam shower. You've got this very unique textured tile work detail, rain head above, and if you pan up, you've got an even larger rain head, which is amazing, built-in body spray. And of course, like I said, you can access all of your steam controls from this little screen right here. You've also got the built-in bench with the linear drainage. Such a cool area. And that's not all of it. We've got even more. On my left here, you've got your built-in sauna, nicely wood paneled all throughout, even paneled up above on the ceiling. You've got a built-in speaker in this sauna as well. Really cool overall that you have all of these amenities in the comfort of your own home. You can also close up that wood door nicely. And if we continue down, more built-in shelving throughout the space. And if we continue outside of that wellness area, Follow me down. You've got the elevator in front of me, and this private hallway leads you into a couple of different rooms. You've got laundry room number two here on my left with the nice stone countertops, which are also shown on the backsplash. Tons of built-in cabinetry. And if we continue down, you've got even more cabinetry. Stainless steel sink with the uppers above me 
and you've got your built-in paneled refrigeration section. So once again, have more cold drinks on hand. Over here, you've got a guest bedroom, which is staged with contemporary furniture all throughout. You've got the staged desk also when you walk in. Natural light comes out from that window. And you've got an ensuite bathroom complete with that floating vanity. And you've got the glass enclosed walk-in shower space, which doubles as a bathtub and it's also nicely tiled. And if we take a turn around, you've got the walk-in closet with all of the built-ins. And if we head outside of this hallway right here, we are back into the lower level great room. There's just so much more that we have to see. So let's continue down. You've got your bar section, which has seating for up to five guests here at this gray stone countertop. Now let's check out the inner workings. We've got tons of natural toned custom cabinetry all throughout here. You've got the floating shelving here with the ambient lighting details and Take a look at this. You've got your panel dishwasher next to your sink and over here, built-in ice maker. Very essential to have if you're entertaining, making drinks down here for your guests. One more thing we gotta talk about. You've got pull-out refrigerator drawers in this space too, which are once again, nicely paneled. Very essential to have. I don't see these too often. I always love when I see those details. And on my left, you've got your glass enclosed wine cellar. Before we head inside, it's really cool. You actually get a view of that wine cellar here from this bar area. You can see it all the way down if you're playing pool. A really cool interior view. I like that a lot. Now let's continue, let's wrap around, open up this space. Here we are, the temperature controlled wine cellar. It's got its very own air conditioning in here too. Whatever temperature you want it to be, you can have it in this room. You've got all of the ambient lighting surrounding this section. Custom wooden details go up to the ceiling here. Tons of open shelving details and you've got space for hundreds of your favorite bottles of wine. I also really like the unique light fixtures which are positioned above and if you also look above, you've got more wooden panel details. And like I said, you've got this interior glass panel which looks out to the rest of your great room really cool and unique space. Now I'm gonna close up this area here. In front of me, this hallway takes us to a couple different rooms. Before we go down that hallway though, let's take a right hand turn. This is your massive movie theater. Let's take a look inside of here. You've got the triple tiered seating. Massive screen is shown on the far side of this room right here. You've got the ambient lighting, the wall sconces all throughout. And take a look at the ceiling detail. If you pan up for me, you can see that you've got the unique track lighting completely built into that ceiling. You've also got wall speakers, which are nicely built in. And you've got built-in speakers here on the ceiling. So you're getting that true immersive movie theater experience here. The area is also nicely carpeted throughout and you've got your snack station here at the far side of the area. I love the gray countertops with the backsplash to match and you've also got some custom cabinetry of course all throughout. Store all of your chips, your cookies, your popcorn. Also you've got this little seating section in case you want to eat a meal but still watch that movie. You can absolutely do it from back here. Also, projector is mounted above me, and in front of me, you've got even more custom cabinetry. Now, if we take a turn down through this section, down the hallway here, you can see on my left-hand side, you've got another powder room. I really like the interior finishes and details in this powder room. You've got the vessel sink right here in this dark gray tone. You've also got this textured wallpaper which surrounds the entire powder room. Wall sconces on either side of the mirror. And take a look at this unique vanity. We've never seen something quite like this before, but you've actually got this wooden detail here on the top. It looks like a large wooden table with a sink on top. But trust me, this is all completely built in. You've got the open shelving positioned right below. Really cool. Now, if we continue down, you can open this up. This is your garage. And like I said earlier, that driveway takes you directly down into this area. This is the subterranean garage. You've got the unique epoxy floors all throughout here. And your garage also has its very own flat screen TV, which is something you don't see often. So if you wanna have a drive-in movie, you can absolutely do it. 
Now let's continue down. This dramatic hallway takes you into the final guest bedroom that we have on this lower level. You've got contemporary staging all throughout, and you've got these sliding glass doors which takes you up to the backyard or over to your driveway. You've got an ensuite bathroom complete with the glass enclosed walk-in shower. And if we come back down this hallway where we first entered, you can see this is where you have all of your slide to open closet space with all of the built-ins in there. Now let's continue down the hall and that concludes our tour for this lower level. So now we have to go back to the top floor, check out the rest of the bedrooms, then check out the rooftop. So let's do it. up your wood floating staircase we've just made it up to the top level of the property right when you come to the landing you've got this contemporary staged seating area with beautiful views of downtown LA and Beverly Hills if you pan up for me you can see we actually have this raised ceiling which is surrounded by the clear story windows so this upper level living space gets tons of natural lights all day long I love the wooden beams that they have added up above right here. Views of the chandelier. You've got several guest bedrooms in front of me with the elevator access. But before we see that, I just wanted to mention you've got a bit of a wet bar area right when you come into the landing. You've got the stainless steel sink right here with the built-in paneled refrigeration down below. You've got your uppers, which are all nicely soft closing floating shelving as well. And if you head down this hallway right over here, we have just made it here to the dramatic hallway, which further leads into your primary bedroom suite. Coming down this hallway, we've got two different bathrooms on my right and my left. Let's take a turn to my right. This is primary bathroom number one that we will be seeing here in the primary bedroom suite. You've got beautiful built-in vanity right here with this stone countertop. Massive mirror is mounted on this far side of the wall. If you pan up for me, you've got the coffered ceiling detail. Add some additional character into this room. You've got the nicely tiled floors, which carry on into your glass enclosed walk-in shower section. You get natural light into this space. Tile work details extend all the way up to the ceiling and are even shown up on the ceiling. You've got the built-in rain head with the body spray below. Next to this area, you've got the freestanding tub, which once again gets views of all of the foliage. You've also got a preparation section located directly next to your vanity, in case you gotta get your makeup done or get ready before work. And over here, you've got your water closet and you've got your primary closet, number one, complete with tons of floor to ceiling, built-in cabinetry all throughout. You've got the skylights, which once again, provide natural lights into the space. This area is remarkable. You've got a little seating area in the center too, in case you wanna relax. You get tired in the morning before you head to work. Also, you open these up and these cabinets are all nicely soft closing. If we take a turn outside of this bathroom, across the hall, this is the second primary bathroom that we have in the primary suite. You've got your built-in vanity right when you walk in with the stone countertops. Massive mounted mirror once again goes up to the ceiling. You've also got your glass enclosed walk-in shower right here, which has a bit of a darker choice of tile work inside. You've got the mounted rain head with the body spray bench seating with views of the backyard. And next to that shower, you've also got this pocket sliding door, which disappears and takes you to this private balcony here. It's nicely railed off with the glass. You've got several seating areas out here and it looks over your backyard and it looks over beautiful Beverly Hills, all of the foliage there in the distance. You can listen to your water feature out here. This is impressive. This balcony also takes you to the primary bedroom portion of the suite. But before we see that, let's head back in here. This is the second primary closet. You've got all of the floor to ceiling, built-in shelving and cabinetry here. You've also got the two skylights above. And what's really interesting is that you actually have this interior sliding glass door. So in case you want to section off your closet, you can absolutely do it. 
but you can still see inside, which is really cool. Something we're not used to seeing. Now let's continue down that hallway and we have just made it into the primary bedroom portion of the suite. You can see you've got your contemporary staging throughout. You wake up and you see views of Beverly Hills and downtown Los Angeles every single day. Plus you can also see Century City just in front of me. Really rare to have views of both cities. I like that a lot. You've got the light fixture positioned above, extremely high ceilings with the skylights over there in that hallway. Over here, you've got your seating area, which is nicely sectioned away from the bedroom portion. You get more views of Beverly Hills, all of the foliage in the distance, light fixture above, and we see more of that wooden panel detail up above me here on the ceiling. You've got your mounted flat screen TV with the built-in fireplace. Custom cabinetry is located all throughout. Stainless steel sink. And if we take a turn just down over here, we've actually got your glass panel pivot door, which further leads you out to that wraparound balcony, which we did see earlier. Once again, you're getting unobstructed views of downtown LA, Century City, and your beautiful backyard space. Now let's head back inside the primary, down the hall. We've made it back to the upper level landing of this top floor. We saw the seating space earlier. You've got views of Beverly Hills. And from right here, you've actually got access into three different guest bedrooms, plus that elevator. Let's take a turn to my left. This is the first guest bedroom that we will be seeing for this level. You've got contemporary staging all throughout. And take a look at that. You've got unobstructed views of Century City. And then just down in front of me, you can see all the way to downtown Los Angeles. It's not every day that we see a house that has views of both cities. I do like that a lot. Also views of the backyard and the waterfall. Here on my right, you've got the ensuite bathroom with that floating vanity and the glass enclosed walk-in shower, which is nicely tiled throughout. You've also got the walk-in closet here on my right. And if we continue back down to the landing, let's take another right-hand turn. This is the second guest bedroom that we have for this upper level here. You've got more contemporary staging all throughout the area. Walk-in closet is located on my left. You've got this private balcony here, which once again overlooks downtown Los Angeles. And it's actually shared with the last bedroom that we did just see. You've also got another ensuite bathroom with that built-in vanity and the glass enclosed walk-in shower. And if we take a turn back down this hallway here, this is the final guest bedroom that we will be seeing for this top level. You've got more contemporary staging throughout. Also, views of the foliage on my right. You've got an ensuite bathroom on my left with the built-in vanity and the glass enclosed walk-in shower. Also, walk-in closet is located here on my right with all of the built-ins. And if we head back down here to this top level landing, we've got one more unique detail to show you. And that's the patio with the spiral staircase, which leads up to the roof. So follow me through this door right here, heading up that spiral staircase. You can see that we have just made it up to your private rooftop. You've got various seating areas all throughout. This nice wooden deck extends all the way back out over here where you get impressive views of your backyard and unobstructed views of Beverly Hills all the way to downtown Los Angeles. Take a look at that. What an amazing property here in Beverly Hills. If you made it here till the end, thank you so much for watching. Big thank you to Jade Mills and her team for allowing us to do this tour. You can find her information down below in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.